I've been seeing in the news that Roma are linked with a brand new midfielder coming over from Porto, I believe it is. So we're going to go ahead and search him up in preparation for the January transfer window. So we're going to go over to the Portuguese league. Is this what it's called now? Liga Portugal sponsored by... Is it Bwin or is it B-Win? I've never even thought about it. I remember they sponsored Real Madrid for a while, didn't they? Something like that. But yes, we are in the correct league. Porto. And I think his name is Oliver. This, this is the guy. Sergio Oliveira. O Oliveira. He's 29 years old. Central midfielder. Kind of exactly what we need. As you know, I was looking at central midfielders before the end of the window closed. I couldn't quite get a deal done. Um, so maybe this is the move we go for instead of Dominguez or Kirk Chu, whatever his name was. Um, yeah, we'll look into it. The, the downside is with him being 29 years old, he's not going to be someone that we can improve over the next few years. Not by much anyway, but if he's already kind of 79, 80, 81 rated, then we're getting ourselves a really good squad player. So I think we'll probably try and sign this guy in January, which is probably in a couple of episodes time, maybe two episodes or so. Uh, hopefully by then they would have got the deal done in real life. But uh, he's got a real face in the game, which is cool. And he's exactly what we are looking for. I'm still interested in Damsgaard or Poado. We'll, we'll look into it. But for now, guys, we focus on our current matches. We do have a game in the Conference League coming up now. And then we've got the big one against Juventus. Do you know what? I'm going to simulate this one via the calendar and it's going to be a 3-0 win. The Conference League is not going to be too difficult for our squad, even with the second team. So that's another win there. 92 manager rating, by the way. We've got a message here from Zaniolo. Hey boss, I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. I just want to say I'm ready to do whatever, whatever's necessary. So we've been using Zaniolo as a, a striker, effectively. You can be even better. Did I change his training? I think I did. I'm just going to double check. Zaniolo is converting to a striker right now. How long does he have left on that? 25 weeks. I think it's his, his best position if we're playing a 3-5-2. Because I'm not going to play him on the right wing. And I'm not really going to play him as a centre mid. Although I could. He's tall. He's got decent defending. 61. But yeah, I think if we're sticking with the 3-5-2... He should be up front with Tammy or Hlozhek, whoever. Oh, well, <laughs> Hlozhek it is then because Tammy Abraham has suffered a seven-week injury in training. I can't believe that. So I feel like because I'm playing on PC for the first time and I'm using the realism mod and stuff like that, I think it can increase the likelihood of, of injuries. So that's two injuries we've had now. That kind of sucks. Two nasty injuries, Abraham and Cristante, are out. So I guess for now we go with Hlozhek. Smalling has been put into defensive midfield. Obviously, we're going to go with Maitland-Niles instead. Um, who else do I bring onto the bench? I guess we go with Calafiori. Yeah, I guess that's what we do. And instead of... Ah, okay. What if I use Diavara as the backup central, central midfielder? And then we can have Shamorodov on the bench. I'm just not too, too interested in using Meyer out. I don't really rate him that highly. So for now, at least for the next few weeks, this is the first team. It's still more than good enough to get wins. But can we beat Juventus? One thing I will say about Juventus, I love this alternate kit. It looks so just different. I'm not really a fan of the Jeep sponsorship with the, the writing underneath it, the 4XE. But um, don't forget, I'm using a mod. These, these have been created by a modder, which is which is really cool. And this was a game that recently happened, right? Two days ago, I think. I think Maitland-Niles made his debut against Juventus, and it ended 4-3 to Juventus. It was an incredible game of football. I watched the highlights. I've been watching Roma a lot since I started this career mode. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be 4-3 in this game because that would be very stressful. We're in some really good form at the moment, though. We have been climbing the table. And we are in a very solid position in that top four. We just need to continue that. They've got Arthur up front. Okay. Dybala's at Cam. They've got Chiesa on the right. I think that's Adama Traore on the left. Good tackle. 
Locatelli in midfield with Rabio. I think, you know, it, it is a better team than ours. I think we can all agree that. But it means nothing. On the day, it's all about the performance. And I might be able to get in behind here. What a ball that is. Karlsdorp's already in. And he's uh, he's hit it like a right back would hit it. He's no Tommy Yasu, although... <laughs> How many goals did I score with Tommy Yasu in the Arsenal career mode? I think it was two. Maybe maybe three. Was it three? We're on the attack again here. Flick that over the top for Klozek. Whoa, Chiellini did well there. They've got Luke Shaw as well. Oh, my God. Oh, Maitland, Niles, what a turn. And then the pass. <laughs> the pass was terrible. Here come Juventus on their first proper attack. I've missed my tackle completely. Arthur at striker is definitely a bit of a strange one it could work out he could be like a a deep lying forward you know he's definitely more of a central midfielder though like a, a box to box oh no oh no good save patricio that's not a penalty is it is that a pen no i think i pulled his shirt the ref's given a penalty Dybala stepping up. Top right corner. Oh, he's missed it anyway. Oh, dearie me. Juventus with a massive opportunity to take the lead. And they've missed it. That was a shocking penalty. It wasn't a little bit wide. It was hugely wide. Okay, we're struggling now. Juventus are taking over. I started so well. Oh, they've hit the bar. I was comfortable at the start. Loads of possession couple of chances here and there and all of a sudden Juventus get a penalty and now they're dominating so let's just slow things down shall we no joke Arthur at striker is actually working really well this kind of reminds me of the whole Casemiro at left mid thing in the Arsenal career mode against United it's weird but kind of works here's Karsdorp unfortunately he couldn't take that first time here's Pellegrini oh that could be a red Chiellini could be off here. No, it's a yellow. I think a red would have been very harsh, but we have got a free kick in a dangerous area here. But there's no way I'm going to score this. So I'm just going to roll it and then hit it with Pellegrini. Top left corner. Oh, what? Did that go through the goal? That is one of the weirdest angles. That's the camera angle for you. It gives you false hope. It looked like it literally went through the net, but it has gone over the bar just what a goal that would have been and what a moment it would have been right before half time unfortunately we are not going to be going into the break one nil up it is nil nil i would say that's a very even game so far it's going to be an interesting second half i'm actually going to make a slight change here i'm not going to sub anyone but i'm going to swap maitland niles and veritu around i just like maitland niles in the middle there with that agility the pace he's able to sweep but uh, Veritu I think might be better off in this position for now and maybe Maitland Niles can do some damage going forward with Spinozola on his left I'm going to give that a go if this doesn't work I mean it, it probably won't make too much of a difference I just want to try it out but if it doesn't work I've got so many other options so many other players I can bring on and of course I can always change the system for this game but it hasn't not been working we're just playing against one of the best teams in the league, and it's it's tough. Oh, look at the space for Zaniolo. Oh, okay, good start to the second half. Let's get this corner in now. Pellegrini takes it. Klozek is there, but Delict heads it out. That's really nice passing. When Juventus play like this, it's very difficult to stop them. Arthur with the shot. You're not a striker, mate. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. What is... <laughs> Mancini, what are you doing? There you go. That's more like it. Right, I'm going to pass this one out. Turn with Maitland-Niles. Oh, God. Chiesa. Good tackle, but it's not enough. But that is a bad pass. This is tough, man. I think we're in for a really close 30 minutes here. I don't think I've even got the ball to Klozek in this second half yet. And we've almost played all of it. <laughs> we're over halfway through. Not ideal, really. Let's ping this on the left side. Oh, good ball. Really good ball to Spinozola, but he can't control it. Okay, time to make a change. I don't think this is working. I'm going to go a bit risky. 
I think it could be a, a good move for us. Why would it let me do it? Let me move him into cam, please. Thank you very much. Can I go a bit further forward? There we go. I think I might take off Maitland-Niles. Actually, no. Karsdorp's been very quiet. Let's go Maitland-Niles on the right, and I'm going to put Mkhitaryan. Oh, do I go Shomorodov? No, I'm going to go Mkhitaryan. In behind the two strikers. We're on the break here. Look at Maitland-Niles go. It's a good first touch, but Quadrado... What a tackle that is. And now here come Juventus again. Mancini can't get the tackle in. Inacio can. Okay. We need to do something now. Let's make this count. Zaniolo. Over to Mikatarian. Hojek is offside, but Spinozola's made a run. This could be the moment. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. Oh. Doesn't look like we're going to get a goal. I mean, I didn't want a 4-3 result, but I would have liked a couple of goals. <laughs> I would take a goal at this point. A 1-0 win would be absolutely fantastic, but I do not want to lose this. So even if we just try and get the draw here, unless we can do something now. Back to Zaniolo. Oh my God. Hlozek, please. Please. Oh, that was almost the move. The ref's going to blow his whistle here. It was a good game, just no goals. And a draw against Juventus, not bad. I'm getting another warning about a player on loan. Kumbula is not playing enough, apparently. That is actually a bit of a problem. I don't have many centre-backs that can be back up. Don't forget, I'm using three centre-backs in my formation. So you kind of need five, I would say, minimum. Five good centre-backs. Some young ones, some older ones. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. We do have a scout report for Sergio Oliveira, and he is 80 rated. He's got a value of 12 million euros, so we can easily afford him come January. But I've got to say, I don't really rate his stats that highly. I'm not just talking about his pace, but um, it definitely helps when your midfielder is mobile. But do you know what? Maybe in that DM role, he could be the playmaker. Okay, we'll, we'll consider it, but uh, we've still got some really good options if we don't go with Sergio Oliveira, but I think it probably would be a good signing. Up next, we've got Cagliari. They are down in the bottom three, and then it's Bologna after that. And then, wow, November. We are flying through the fixtures. Kumbula is getting some game time here. We're going to use the match sim against Cagliari. Maitland-Niles gets another run in the team as well. Let's see how we get on. I'm actually kind of interested to see uh, if there's more goals using the realism mod on PC. Because what I noticed whenever I did this match simulation on the PS5, that's a good chance for Cagliari. Wow. Uh, it just didn't seem to create many chances, many goals. So let's see if there's any difference, really. We've got Mikatarin in the team, Klozek and Shamorodov up top. And talking of those two, they're involved here in the attack. And we've missed. Shamorodov probably should have scored there. Here we go. Mikatarian. Shamorodov saved. We've been on the back foot. Not possession wise, but shots. Oh, and there it is. Flojek gets us a goal. I was going to say that so far, Cagliari have been the better team when it comes to creating chances, but we've dominated the ball. Finally, we've seen a goal, and it's for Roma. So that is good. We have taken the lead. Oh, it could be another one. Oh, good save from the keeper. Corner coming in from Mikatarian, Grabbed by the keeper again, and that's a foul. Or offside, one of them. We've got about five minutes until the break here. And right now, Hlozek has an 8.3 rating. He's having a great game. But we do have a slight problem here. They could overload us. Okay, they've, they've kind of taken their time here. Oh, no. Ah, yeah. Mitrovic, What? Wow, what a strange signing. I only just realized they've got Godin, of course. They've got uh, some actually pretty good players in there. It's not a bad side. I don't know why they're struggling down in 17th, but right now they'll be getting a point. We do need to get a goal in the second half. Come on, lads. I might jump in if we don't score soon. Not that that guarantees that we will, because <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out when I jump in. If... If anything, quite often, I get worse. Oh, no. Wow. 
The passing there was insane. Okay, I'm going to make some changes and I'm going to jump in. I'm going to take maybe... I don't want to take out Mikatarian. Oh man, we just don't really have many other choices than Pellegrini. I think I'm going to do this. Very two in the middle, Pellegrini, Mikatarian. Let's go with Karsdorp. And you know what? We haven't used him enough, so let's give him a go. Mayoral and Hlozek up front. We're now going to jump in. And let's see if I can turn this around. We need two goals in 27 minutes. Oh, beautiful. Hlozek, finish it. Yes, come on. We've pulled back a goal straight away, pretty much. My first attack. We don't need to see the replay. We're going to skip that. We need another one. Do not let Mitrovic have any chances, though. Because uh, he will get a hat-trick. No doubt about it if we give him another chance. What a tackle. Can you keep it? No. Nope. Big danger here. Strokeman on the left side here. Oh, we've got it. Pellegrini, good job. He's so good at everything. He's just the all-round midfielder. He's now on this right side. Look at Mayoral. Please win the header. Please win the header. Yes. Come on. Please. Play it back inside the box. Mikatarian. Yes. Come on. I am falling in love with this team. It is so much fun to play with. So many great players. Mikatarian is one of them. I was gutted when it didn't work out at Arsenal. I really was. The thought of having Mikatarian and Aubameyang. Oh, it was so cool. To me, that was one of the best two signings we could have made at that time. And, well, <laughs> it's easy to go off on a tangent here about Aubameyang. I think you know my feelings. I love the guy and I'm gutted right now. But with Mikatarian, that one just oh, it disappointed me so much. He started so well. I remember he got a hat-trick of assists in his first game, I think it was. Can we get another goal here? Play it on the right. Nice. Hozek, make your run. Do I need him? I don't think I do. Finish it. Oh. Yay. It's 4-2. What a turnaround. I jumped in at 2-1. And I've made it 4-2 in, what was it, 27 minutes. We've blown Cagliari away. That's a great goal. It was a bit lucky. The bounce came straight back up. That is a massive three points. I've got to say, guys, I was not impressed with Mayoral. Every time I got the ball to him, I pretty much lost it. Yeah, I don't I don't really know if I would potentially keep him um, and sign him permanently next season. I think it's very unlikely. I mean, look at his stats. What's he good at? What What's his main attribute? I mean, there you would say it's shooting and dribbling, but... I didn't really have a shot with him, so I guess I can't really comment on that. But his dribbling was so sluggish. He's not quick. He's not tall. He's not small. He's not agile. He's just a bit <laughs> rubbish, really. But um, at least we gave it a go. He's definitely not a player I intend on using much at all. But uh, we're going to go into the next game now, which is Bologna. However, I'm going to interrupt this video because, well, I'm going to sponsor it myself. This video is sponsored by my membership program. I would absolutely love it if you guys could take a moment and just check on my channel or actually do it after the video maybe. But there's a, a membership program you can join for 4 dollars a month. It supports the channel. You get yourself a cool badge for when I begin live streaming and you can chat during member only mode. And also you get access to the private chats in my Discord and also... I'm going to be giving away this. I don't even know if I'm allowed to give it away. I've got lots of kind of EA shirts. Why am I not in full screen? Hang on. There you go. You can see it here. Let me open it up for you guys. Sponsored by Matt, this video. Look at this. It's sick. But I want to give it away. And I've got, as I was about to say, loads of, of these kind of EA shirts that they send me. I mean... I mean, it sounds bad, but I've got too many of them. I, I can't I can't do anything with them. I can't hang them all up. Um, they send me the wrong size every time. So they don't, I'm not, I'm not going to wear them. I, I want to give them away. So this video is sponsored by me. If you would like a chance to win any of these FIFA shirts that you've seen on social media in, video, in videos and stuff, 
I'm gonna give them all away to members. If you're interested, click that join button. You can join the MGH United Club, become a member on Discord, have the private chat. And of course, when I begin streaming soon, you will have access to the live chat during sub only mode. Uh, when I'm doing Arsenal watch longs and stuff like that, I always put it into sub only mode because otherwise people like to spoil goals and things like that. Um, Thanks for listening to this sponsored message. Let's get into the game against Bologna. Do you know what? It feels kind of similar to the last game. We're playing against a team that are struggling at the moment, but have a pretty decent team. Arnautovic up front. He's an absolute boss. Oh, hello. Hello. Whoa. That wasn't a bad start, was it? Haven't they got a couple of Scottish players as well? I think is it a left back. What's his name? I've forgotten his name. Oh, oh another really good save. Yeah, they've got some really good players in there. I think they've got a Belgian defender, Th Thea. Uh, pfft, my memory goes blank whenever I need it. But um, another header going wide this time. What I'm trying to say is it wouldn't surprise me if they start to climb the table a little bit. Obviously, I'm not expecting them to be in that kind of top six. But uh, right now, the table is its so early in the season. We don't really know what it's going to look like towards the end. Look at the space here for Pellegrini. Into Klozek on his left foot. This keeper, Skorupski, is saving everything. Let's get another delivery into the box. It's not bad, but Jolington clears it. Okay, they've signed Jolington as well. He's been superb for Newcastle recently, playing in a new position in midfield. Here's Maitland-Niles. Oh, you're not saving that one. Ainsley Maitland-Niles, welcome to Italy. What a goal from the young Englishman playing in that middle of the, the three central midfielders role, the CDM. He's good there. He really is. I think that might be my favourite position to use him. As long as Karsdorp is doing well on the right side. But he's so versatile. You can use him in so many different positions. And he's come up with a goal as well. Here goes Karsdorp again. Play it back inside to Zaniolo. I'm going to go for the finesse. Oh, Why? Why do I do that? Could have kept that move going. But no, I've ruined it by shooting from distance. I mean, I guess if you don't try it, you're never going to score these beautiful worldies. But uh, sometimes I think I just, I try too hard to score really good goals. I'm trying to entertain you, all right? Anyway, it's half time. We're looking good. I'm pretty sure in the second half, we'll get another goal or two. Hozek on the ball. Over here to Veritu. Back to Hozek. Can I score from range with him? No. <laughs> no. He's a good player, right? Don't get me wrong. He's a very good striker. But every now and again, I'm always just shocked at how one of his shots can miss by so far. He needs to improve for sure in, in that regard. I think his shooting is a bit inconsistent, but my God, when we get him to kind of like the low 80s, mid 80s, he's going to be lethal. Absolutely lethal. Oh, that's a nice pass. Perez. He's just come on as a super sub. Here's Pellegrini. Hits it with your left. Saved by the keeper. Still haven't got this second goal. What is going on? I've got Mikatarian on now as well, by the way. And he's the target here. I don't know why he would be the target. Zaniolo. Onto this right side. To Perez. Back to Zaniolo. Over to Mikatarian. Top left corner, blocked. Maitland-Niles picks it back up again. Lovely through ball into Perez. Can he finish it? Off the post. So the answer is no, he can't finish it. But this is ridiculous now. How am I not winning this game by two or three goals? Tell you what though, Perez on this right side is pretty good. In place of Karsdorp, he's in again here. Surely this time. Hey, there you go. Makes it 2-0. I don't know why the uh, the Bologna players are on the floor. They're acting as if they don't deserve to lose this game. Trust me. We've been the better side by a long, long distance. This is a great finish, by the way. Mikatarian gets the assist. Chest. And then finesse. I think it I think it bounced, so it's kind of a half volley. Let's check. Yeah, there you go. What a tidy finish that is from Perez. See, I'd rather have him up front than Mayoral. However you say his name, Mayoral. He's just so much better. I love Perez. He's a really good player. A little bit underrated in this squad, I think. I need to use him a little bit more. We could get potentially a third goal if we make this chance count. 
whip it back post. That's the uh, defender I was talking about earlier. Theate? Theate? I have no idea how to pronounce his name. But guys, that is another win. We're just... We're dominating games. We're, we're winning... Well, I say dominating games. The Juventus one, I think, doesn't really fall into that. But otherwise, we're looking really good at the moment. And of course, Maitland-Niles got his first goal of the season. That was awesome. And it's a good way to end the episode. I'm not going to do the modded video tomorrow. I might wait until next week to do another one because I think the Roma career mode is, is doing really well at the moment. So we're going to do another episode tomorrow like normal and then we'll do a modded video next week, I think. Maybe I'll do it every fortnight, something like that instead. Um, thank you for watching. Again, sponsored by me. If you want to have a chance of winning these FIFA shirts, I've got so many of them over there behind my, my setup. I'll, I'll try and get a few of them up on, on camera in the next episode. And um, if you want to try and, and enter the giveaways to win one, all you have to do is become a member of MGH United by clicking that join button on the channel. You can do it on phone as well. And uh, don't forget to get in the Discord, get in those private chats with me. Tell me what you think of the series. Some direct feedback straight to me is awesome. Really do appreciate everyone that joins the membership program. Uh, the I think there's actually five club founder roles left, five more. So you could be one of those last five club founders. And then of course, it's just club members from then on. So the first 100 get club founder role and always keep that. It's like a, a thank you for being the first 100. So there's a couple of slots left. Thank you so much if you do join and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode.